delicious. Hi guys, my name is Sophia LaCour and I'm going to be doing an everyday makeup tutorial for you, with you. Let's go. Okay, so first I'm gonna start with this. I like to hydrate my face a lot, especially in the winter. My skin can get a little dry in New York, so we have like three different moisturizers we're gonna do. Just rub this all in. Next I'm gonna use the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I love this. I love this stuff. Rub it in. Let's get this hair back. Okay. Now we're gonna use a little bit of this La Roche moisturizer. I love this one. It's thick and creamy and feels amazing on the skin. Last but not least, we're gonna do a little eye cream. This is Ariana Skincare. I just use a really, really little tiny bit and put it under my eyes. And that's it for hydration. So let's get into the makeup. Okay, now that we are hydrated, we are gonna go in with the Glotion. I love this stuff. I already look pretty glowy from all of my moisturizers, but we're gonna just keep it going. This is shade 901 Fair Glow. I am very fair. This is my natural skin color right now. I have no spray tan on. This is just, this is me. I like to put a lot of this on my nose because it's like, it naturally highlights my natural nose. Okay. Now I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I love this concealer. I used to use the NARS concealer. I now I kind of use both, but this one goes on amazing. I love it so much. Okay. I'm using a lot of concealer today. Now we're gonna blend. Gonna make sure the purple circles are gone. A little more concealer under the eyes. Okay, now we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint. This is the lightest shade, shade one. I am very pale, but it's okay. You get what you get and you don't get upset. I just like to put a lot of this on my face with a brush and then go in with a beauty blender and just blend that all out. Okay, now that we are just pale and the skin is hopefully skinning, we are gonna go in with some milk contour. I like to use very dark colors on my super pale skin because it's really easy for me to look orange because my skin kind of just shows everything. I like to blend up always with the contour and I like to start with a little bit and just keep adding more until I'm happy with it. Okay, now we're taking the YSL Cream Blush. This is very red. I like to use a really red color when my skin is natural because it's so white. The redness just comes out perfectly. 
Then I use the back of a beauty blender to just blend that out. Okay, now we are going to do some highlighter. This is Iconic London. This is really, really gorgeous. Just kind of all over the high points of my face, on my nose. The beauty blender is my best friend. We love each other. We hang out every day. She's good to me. Highlight, gorgeous. We're gonna go and use this Iconic London spray. This stuff is gorgeous. I use a lot. Oh, come on. Hello, open. Don't kiss. Now we're gonna use the NARS Laguna bronzer. And we're just gonna do that exactly where we contoured. This is gonna make us look like we just got off the beach. Now we're gonna take this beautiful Dior blush. This is a very red blush. I love to have like super red, super dark, just because I'm afraid of looking orange. It's really, really easy for me to look orange when I'm super pale. Just a little bit of this. A little bit on the nose. So it looks like, again, we just got off the beach, sun-kissed. Now we're gonna take this Benefit Cosmetics highlighter. It's got a little pink in it. And just put it exactly where the high points of our face are. That's what I'm gonna do. You can do whatever you want. I'm not your mom. Fenty Beauty Powder. I'm gonna take this and just set everything under the eyes just so we're not as glowy, and so this lasts all day. Kind of just everywhere. I love makeup so much, but I use makeup only to enhance my natural features. I think that we all are beautiful in our own way, and unless you're really, really, really insecure about something, Embrace it if you think your forehead's too big. It's not you just are looking on Instagram too much and looking at other girls too much You are beautiful no matter what they say words can't bring you down Of course we need to curl them eyeliner and waterproof mascara this brings the face to a whole new level. Eyeliner takes like two seconds. If anyone says it takes forever and you're trying hard, you're not. You're just probably looking too pretty and they're upset. So don't you bring me down today. Don't let anyone tell you you're not perfect because you literally are. And it's okay to be delusional as well. You are the main character in your own movie. You are the star of your own show. That's the end of it. Think like that. A little bit more coffee. I have to like get really close to the mirror, so wait, maybe I should just use this as a mirror. Can you guys see or is it blurry? Honestly, it's better if it's blurry. Okay, a little wing for an everyday look. All right, did we do that evenly? This is the telescopic lift. This is gorge. I think you're supposed to use the flat side and then like brush it with the other side, but don't tell me what to do. Just kidding. And I also want my future children to watch these videos and only get good advice, hopefully, and be happy with what they see and I don't want to like embarrass my future children because it is my goal in life to be a great mother. If you guys have any questions, I will answer them in the next video if you want to comment some of them.
All right, now mascara is the most important part in my opinion. I feel like if you gave me one piece of makeup to ever use for the rest of my life, actually, mm, it's a toss up between concealer and mascara. I always had blonde eyelashes and this just saved, saved me, saved me. Um, also mascara in my opinion takes at least five minutes. It's an art, it's an art in my opinion. I wish I knew how I could say Okay, next, another important part of the entire makeup look, I will redo this lip liner and lip gloss every hour, every 45 minutes. This is my favorite lip liner. I've been using it, I think, since high school. Edge to Edge MAC Lip Liner. I like to overline just a little. Lip plumper. This is Maybelline. They just sent this to me. I actually love it. It is really, really great. I love makeup so much and I think it makes people feel like much more confident whenever they have it on or whenever they're putting on it on. It also is so much fun to do. It's such an art and everyone does it differently. It's beautiful that everyone has a completely different canvas, different face structures, different everything. I never want anyone to be doing their makeup to hide anything. When I was younger, like I used to want to hide my freckles, but it's not about hiding, it's about enhancing your natural, beautiful features and just, you know, capitalizing on whatever you have, whatever God gave you. Use makeup as a tool to be even happier. Just to like one up God. You gave me this and I'm just gonna show it off a little bit more, but I believe does that look okay? Yeah. I believe that is the end of our makeup tutorial. I am so so happy you guys watched the whole thing. I love you guys so much and come back soon for another video. Love you.